Max, do you agree with MLB's plan to charge forward here? I love the idea of trying to do it. I'm surprised that it's baseball because there are so many participants in a baseball game. When you think about the number of people that would have to be quarantined, it's at least 1,000 people, 25 per team, 30 teams. You're up to 750 plus support staff, so over 1,000 people. So it's ambitious. Much harder to do that than, say, what Dana White's trying to do with the UFC or, or, or a boxing promoter could do with boxing or a golf tournament, maybe. Um, and, but nevertheless, I, I think it's a good idea for baseball to be thinking aggressively about it. What strikes me, though, is there's a, in Jeff Passan's uh, uh, article, there was a little um, uh, blurb about you know, why, rigorous testing. Well, the tests just aren't available. And if they're talking about May in three weeks or four weeks, there's going to be tens of millions more tests so that people who truly need them, so we can locate and isolate the virus, aren't getting them that so, so people in baseball can get them. But presuming that tests do become um, more, more readily available, much more readily available, then I love the idea of baseball trying this. Um, Baseball has been with us through national crises, through the Second World War. You, you know why Derek Jeter, one of his nicknames was Mr. November? Because he hit the first ever home run in November in an official Major League game in the playoffs because there was a disruption as a result of 9-11, but baseball got right back to it. So the idea of sports as distraction I like very much. The plan from baseball makes sense. And, and it's great that because it's an inferior consumer product to football or basketball, it has receded and been marginalized in the American popular co consciousness. But this would help it take center stage again. I love that. I'm a huge baseball fan. That said, in order for this to happen, it seems to me testing needs to become much more readily available. It has receded and been marginalized in the American consciousness, especially third place to the NFL and the National Basketball Association. I get that. And I applaud the MLB for making this concerted effort to do what it's doing. What I don't like is them restricting themselves uh, to Arizona. Um, I don't like that at all. I think that you should have, I'm not saying every city, of course, but you should have a few cities uh, that are doing the same thing so you can sort of spread it out a little bit and compete in that fashion. And I think that there's a way to pull that off, and I think that's something that they should explore rather than everybody being huddled and congested in the state of Arizona. I don't like that at all. That's about the only thing I don't, excuse me, I really don't like about this. The one other thing that I will say is this. Max, I don't know about you. Molly, I don't know about you. Have you been in your house and not left your house at all over the last several weeks? Both of you, yes or no? I bet. You mean, you mean left over the course of 24 have hours or since then? Yes. No, I'm saying over the course of 24 hours, over the course of the last several weeks. Have you left your yes. house? Yes. I, I would venture yes. to say yes. Oh, yeah. I have too. This yeah, notion, this notion that we need to be huddled in some in some closed confines, in some bubble, and we can't go out without engaging in social distancing, I think is ridic is ridiculous. You don't cluster with one another. You don't sit up there and touch other people. The people that you've been communicating with in terms of your family, because you don't want them separated from their families for months, because I think that's asking for entirely, entirely too much. But the notion that, excuse me, I could be with my wife and kids, and you know what? You could be down the block, and oh my Lord, we're all going to huddle with one another because we can't resist being around one another. It's utterly ridiculous. I think people need to get their bearings under them, get their senses together, and understand social distancing is working, but you can still exercise that while going outside to catch a breath of fresh air, while still being around the same family members that you have been around. You could actually have some family members in a respective city well, with you and just be amongst each other and don't go around other people. You can actually well, do Stephen that. A, it, and I definitely think that that's something that needs to be entertained. It, it is. Uh, I disagree with the message there because you're right. It is possible to do that and people should get fresh air and exercise if they need it. And I have left the house and so have you and so have Molly and so is so have most people you would think. Um, but they found several things over the last several weeks regarding coronavirus, how long it can live on various materials. It seems that there are some materials, for example, certain kinds of metals where it can be viable 
over 20, well over 24 hours. So if someone, and also that up to maybe 50% of the population who carries it may be asymptomatic, meaning they don't know they're sick, but they're carrying the virus. So social distancing is not, and wearing masks when you go outside, which the CDC recommends if you're going to be around in a place where other people are, it's not about you not getting sick. It's about not spreading it because we're protecting the most vulnerable, the elderly, those with underlying conditions. And so, yes, I it's okay that. to go outside, but, but the, few, the, 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 the less people do it, the better. And the greater distance we keep from each other, the better. And but, so but, but is your idea about, my, yeah, about spreading it to different cities that it'll be less congested in those cities so you have lower dense population no, no, what density I'm, what I'm, that's, what, that's milling what I, around? What I'm saying is I think it's implausible to ask everybody to descend upon Arizona without their families for the next four months and think that people are going to be receptive to that or that's something that's going to work. So what I'm thinking of uh, along the lines is I don't care if it's two or three additional cities. I'm certainly not advocating, you know, all the cities and all of that stuff. But, I mean, it doesn't have to be limited to just one city. I'm simply pointing out what's the best possible scenario that you could create that will allow players to be with their families because I think it's easier for them to stomach and engage in competition if you allow them to do that as opposed to asking them to go to Arizona and be away from their family and loved ones for months upon months at a time while this coronavirus has invaded our society. I think that's asking a bit too much. I, 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 if quickly, may I respond to that, Molly, just quickly? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um, I know what you mean, Stephen A. If they asked us to do that away from our families, we wouldn't want to. But if that was the only way to do our jobs, then maybe we would. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.